when the limb is amputated, we connect muscles in natural agonist antagonist pairs. Um, so that when the person thinks and moves their phantom leg, those muscles move dynamically just as they did before the uh, leg was amputated. We then put sensors on those muscles to detect activations and movements. And those data are then uh, decoded by small little computers on the robot that tell, tell the machine how, how to move, what forces or torques to apply to enable natural movement by the person with amputation. This is a prosthesis where all the movements and the forces that it applies on the ground, all the kinetics and kinematics are really dictated by the person, by their spinal cord and their central brain. And that's fantastic because the person can decide what they want. <laughs> you know, this, this suggests an exciting future where a person could could hike and decide, they decide to put their foot on the rock or they can dance or do all these non-cyclic, non-steady uh, motor tests.